How are you doing YouTube? This is Hearst Quasar and welcome back. We're playing some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 and feast your eyes in front of you. This is the kickoff of a brand new series and we'll be starting to build as many of the Fast and Furious cars that I can find in the game whether they are uh, most of them are mods um, there will be a few that are in-game cars that uh, I've had to modify so the cars will not be shall I say exact replicas of the cars so with that in mind we will jump right into it right now as you see in front of you we have Brian O'Connor's Eclipse the Supra and of course Dom's Charger which is in pretty sad shape but today's episode, we are going to work on the Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Eclipse. I'm a little excited about this series. Uh, I've built these cars on my other profile. But, um, yeah, nothing, nothing on camera. So let me turn this down in my head a little bit. If I can do that. There, I'll... Um, so I can hear myself. Oh my gosh. Okay. So as you know, there's a lot of people that do not like the Fast and Furious franchise. Yeah. And I say to each his own. Uh, I am a car fanatic. And when this movie came out, my youngest son and I went to go see it and we just fell in love with the cars and with the characters and uh, to be quite honest with you just I, I couldn't get enough of it oops could not get enough of it so uh, we have been following the series my son and I every time a new movie comes out we jump right on it we are there we are there on opening day uh, much like Star Wars now cars are a far cry from Star Wars, but, uh, or Fast and Furious is a far cry from Star Wars, but we like both of them, and, uh, every chance we get, uh, when a new movie comes out, we go and see it. Uh, we make it a point, we set up a date, and, uh, we go. It's just like a father-son day. So, that's, that's always pretty cool. I had my son working on a computer since probably, I don't know, he was maybe two years old maybe and had his own uh, computer account for a game that it, I play as well uh, Star Wars Galaxies um, he had his own character um, and I mean he's been gaming ever since right now he just about games anything that you put in front of him if he likes it he games it But yeah, I guess I passed off the uh, video gene to him, I guess. I guess you might say. Uh, unfortunate, maybe. I mean, he's a good kid. He gets things done. So as many of you know, this Eclipse was the first car to be seen in the very first movie. Um, spoiler alert. The car doesn't last long. Tries to race Dom. And Dom's uh, red. You know, I want to say he had a red Honda 2000. Hmm. I'd have to look that up. I don't remember exactly uh, what the car was. But he lost the race. He lost the race by inches, and pretty much fried the motor in this car in the process. Um, but and he lost his car because of the race. He lost his car. So yeah, uh, bad for him. Uh, we will be putting some performance pieces in these cars just to uh, just to kick them up a little bit. I think they deserve it. Let's see what these wheels look like. I don't know if I can salvage these wheels or not. 21%? Um, yeah, I can do that. And while I'm thinking about it, I thought I got rid of all this garbage in my... Oh, yeah, 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 wait a minute. I thought I got rid of the road, wheel, uh, road runner wheels. But I guess I didn't. This is from an old build. Um, if you are 
new to this video anyway, um, I did do... Oh, that room's not going to work. Okay. Um, I did do a video uh, doing a, a 30k challenge. I'll stick that up in the corner there, so if you want to check that out, it's a 30k challenge. I found a 65 Dodge Wagon, which I'd been looking for forever. Finally found it in the video. I was pretty stoked about it. But, uh, yeah, I was giving uh, myself 30... 30k to do it uh, and it was a challenge over on the Facebook page uh, uh, that link is down below if you want to join us on our Facebook page you are welcome to come in again great bunch of guys and uh, guys and gals I don't know who is a guy and who is a gal half the time but uh, great bunch of people over there always willing to help um, we do have a quite a few lurkers you're watching this in your lurker you know who I'm talking about but uh, do you have a couple people on there that do uh, support the mods that do do mods um, they do not take requests though um, but they are willing to uh, for a donation because the mod models they actually cost money so you have to you know if you want to see one of your cars eh, offer them a little bit of cash to get the car done Support them in your habit. <laughs> All right, this is I'm getting kind of I'm getting myself a little distracted here because uh, I'm not thinking everything through. But we're going to get to it here. We get everything rebuilt. Uh, money is no option. However, um, we. As you see over here, I am going to have, uh, I will run out of money at some point. I don't have all the cars that I'm looking for. There are two of them right now that I'm desperately searching for because they're kind of rare to find, I guess. Um, so in between episodes, I will be searching for those vehicles. Um, and if you'd like to know which ones they are, Keep watching the series. I will uh, reveal them to you eventually. All right. So, oh, like always, I buy new parts. I get rid of my old parts uh, just to save a little bit of cash, put some more money back in the account, and to see where I stand with my parts. Um, Got to be a little careful here because. I have, in the past, deleted parts that I had just bought. So, we need some rear links, we need a rear hub, upper suspension arm, and a rear sway bar. Uh, rear hub, suspension arm A, upper suspension arm, and I needed a couple, oops, no, that's not what I want. I think that was the extent of that, right? So yeah, if you are a Fast and Furious fan, stand by for these builds because uh, um, they may be a little far and few between. So don't be surprised if um, I upload, I you know, I publicize one and uh, another one doesn't show up for a few days, only because uh, work, travel, life. Uh, sometimes gets in the way so I try to do these as often as possible so that uh, viewers can enjoy this enjoy this uh, nice beautiful scenery around here and you know keep me company all right so the wheels are 19s I need 19 uh, 19 that is a classic 16 Classic 1916, 225, 45, 19. Looks like it is a sport tire, so we will go with the uh, we'll go with the sport tire. Classic 16, 18 inch rim. Go back, grab some tires. Uh, race tire, two of them. 19. 
Uh, there were two 25s, but I don't remember what the profile was. Two 25 45s. The 225, I'm going to go over 235. Yeah, I'll stick with the 225s. I'll stick with the uh, original setup on this. So I got that, got that. All right, we should be able to get some tires going here. Mount them up, baby. Mount them up. So yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't joined our Facebook page, uh, jump on over there. Um, a whole lot of talk about doing the budget builds. Um, the challenge, self challenge, pretty much. You know, give yourself so much money and try to see if you can pull a car out of the junkyard and build it for under that amount of money. I am parched today. I am coming to you today from sunny West Virginia and well it's not really sunny today but it is warmer than Northeast Ohio all right so I believe we have all the pieces for the suspension like always I always try to get the uh, suspensions all set up uh, more times than not, I try to do the body last. Um, just kind of depends on the mood sometimes. For those who have seen the movies, uh, let me know if you like them. Like them or uh, you dislike them. Yes, they have some outrageous stunts in them. I agree. I agree with you fully. But hey, you know, that's uh, part of movie making. Um, you want to capture the audience, you want to pull them in, you want to uh, dazzle them a little bit. So, and I have to say, yeah, the movies are uh, somewhat crazy in the aspect of the stunts, but uh, hey. We'll talk more about stunts in the movies, but... Uh, um, in the Fast and Furious, the very fast, the, the Fast and Furious movie, the very first one. Um, trying to think through the movie, and I don't believe there was any stunts that were really outrageous. Uh, a couple of nice car crashes. Uh, you know, nothing. And it'd be and. Just a little bit of CGI in it, I believe. I don't believe there's much CGI in it. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I got all that. All right, we'll jump over to the other side here. Um, not a whole lot of CGI, but, uh, a whole lot of nice car stunts in there. And as the movies progressively got bigger, you guessed it, the stunts got more outrageous. Um... Uh, just, I, I don't know what to tell you. Just, it's crazy. But like I said, uh, I'm going to build as many of these cars as I can. Um, I will have to do a little bit of research on a few things. Uh, going into Fast and Furious 3, the Tokyo Drift movie. Uh, that is going to take a little bit of time to do some things. Because there is a uh, Nissan Silva. Uh, what is it? S15, I believe it is. Um, it is a mod, and in the mod, there is a car called the Mona Lisa. Now, if you remember the Fast and Furious movies, the Mona Lisa is the blue with the orange striped drift car. That, uh, I don't even remember what the character's name. That pretty much destroyed it, trying to drift it, trying to, trying to race against the Drift King DK, as he was called. It was funny because when they called him DK, all I could think of was Donkey Kong. Alright, so I'm so on my age a little bit, okay? Not a big deal. Uh, I think I've I got both bushings in there. I think I got everything all set up. Let's jump out of there, check my inventory. Yes, I just have the old.
crap in there. Got rid of that. All right, now the front end is going to be a little bit different because guess what I need to do? I need to pull, this is a front wheel drive car. I am going to have to pull the transmission out, pull the engine out, and I can't really do much with the front end. Uh, I can't put the tires and everything back on until I get the engine built, transmission back in. So this is a little bit different than my rear wheel drive builds. I usually take care of the front suspension and then go after the engine. This is going to have to be a little bit different. The engine's got to get built first before I can get the transmission, or before I can put the front end back together. Uh, I can put it back together to a certain point, but I just can't put the whole thing back together, which is what we'll do. These pieces are bad shape, man. So of course, um, as I've said in previous videos, I like to keep the cars under 150,000 miles. So, um, just quickly to show you, for the Eclipse here, um, I'm pushing 111, 173. So, uh, not too bad. And look at it, we've just repaired just a little bit of it, and my value is up to $79,000. Nice. Uh, of course, I will not be selling these cars. These are going into my private collection. I will have to, at some point, uh, have to build a money-making car just to get my cash flow back up. Uh, I've spent the better part of last night searching auctions and junkyards uh, for these builds. And I have them stashed away nice and safe in my parking lot. I was up late, and it was always that, oh, that one car I'm searching for could be, you know, that the next click, the next, the next, uh, barn find, it, should, it might be in the next, in the next junkyard run I do, maybe it's in an auction, in auctions, I tell you what, I, oh, jeez, those are so frustrating, just something else altogether, that's a whole different subject. And never get a good deal on the auction. However, I will say this. Um, I was able to pick up a 70 Chevelle. Now, if you can tell me where the 70 Chevelle is in Fast and Furious, put it in the comments below. Uh, I did find a 70 Chevelle and I paid 500 under value price. Now, 500 isn't much, but when you're going to the auctions, I tell you what, it's a bundle because I have paid anywhere. Oh, that's not going to work. What about this one? Neither one of those are going to work, and it's the same size tire. I should have bought some more. So let's just go ahead and jump in a couple of these. So, yeah, I pretty much burned through a lot of money last night. Uh, looking for cars and finding cars and replacing cars. Uh, I would find uh, find one for a good price. I'd snatch it up. The miles would be right under 150,000. And then, you know, lo and behold, I'd come back to the junkyard and guess what? Find a car for like, I don't know, 5,000 miles less, 10,000 miles less. So I'd have to buy it, take it back to the garage, sell off the other car. Just became it just was a big hassle last night, and I stayed up pretty dang late doing that. Spent a whole lot of money. Um, ended up draining my bank account almost down to eight million. I know draining my bank account down to eight million. Right. I I know what you're thinking, but now uh, it was a little low for me. So I, I found a car in a junkyard, did some, did a minor build on it, and uh, able to turn a good cash profit off of it. So which boosted me up a couple million. I loved it. Um, needed to get rid of it, but uh, I needed the money more than I needed the car, and I need the space to be honest with you. Uh, I forgot the 
parking levels cost so dang much. Wow. All right, did I balance both wheels? I have no items to balance. Okay. Uh, let me get my springs set up. So let's jump in here. We'll need a couple of those. A couple of those. A couple of those. I will need. Uh, I'm just going to get the parts that I know I'm going to need for right now, and then I'll jump back in to see what uh, what else I need. Uh, sway bar link, I believe is the bees. I'm probably totally off base on that. See in a minute. Uh, rubber bushings, I need. Uh, this front end. <clears throat> I think 12. Not sure. So let's see what we have here. Alright, brakes. Let's dump off our old parts so I don't accidentally install them. Ooh, yeah, we've got uh, a lot of bad peas, bad actors in there. Ah! Ran right into the stanchion. How embarrassing. Alright, so. Get rid of my tie rods. Don't need those. I only needed eight bushings, so that kind of bites. I needed the link A's. Go figure. Bought the wrong links. Uh, front wheel hub I need. Front sway bar. Drive shaft and an axle H. So front drive axle, front drive axle H. I need, I need front drive shaft needed the front axle hub needed the front sway bar and the A links not the B links springs have been compressed we are ready to go with that uh, quick check here yeah don't need that don't need that good to go there oh Holy hell, I needed two front wheel hubs. How did I miss that? <sighs> Work. <clears throat> front wheel hub and a front axle cover. All right. And I don't know how I missed that. That's okay. That's okay. It's all good. The parts people are here. Those are 225, 4519s, yeah. So we don't need the old tires or that, uh, that anymore. Our exhaust system we're gonna replace. We can get rid of that and that. All right. I think we can get most of the front end together and then we can start tearing into the engine. Let's go ahead and put our large intercooler in there, yeah. Surprised that the intercoolers are repairable, but again, again, the radiators are. So that's that's a good thing. But like I said in the very beginning, in the beginning of the video, these will not be exact cars, but they will be fairly close. Um, I don't go out looking for specs on the cars. Um, I might in the future just to try to match up horsepower. You know, that would be kind of interesting just to try to get it as close as possible to the to match the horsepower of the cars. Um, and that could present a challenge in itself, uh, just trying to match some of that stuff up. Okay, we're not going to have a front drive axle on there yet. I get that back bushing? I got the back bushing. I got everything on this side, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, we shall jump on to the other side. Alright, one rubber bushing. I keep forgetting there's a screw that or a bolt that goes in there. <clears throat> Two rubber bushing. High rod. Buckle. 
outer tie rod. Funny story about these tie rods, they bend easy, trust me. I had a 68 Camaro that I bent the tie rods on. Oh yeah, they bend easily. Um, of course it was my fault. I have to admit that. Just driving stupid, oh, excuse me. Got most of this all back together. Didn't miss any pieces on the back side, I'm good. Been a lot of talk also about uh, expert mode in this game. Um, it's a bit intriguing, um, but you see how these parts are highlighted and the bolts are highlighted. You have to actually find the bolts and put them together, I guess. Uh, I haven't really tried it myself. Okay, did I already put the wheel bearing in there? Okay, I guess I did. That's it for the front end, I believe. Let me see if my parts inventory. Uh, drive axle, front drive shaft, um, and the extra bushings. The extra bushings is because, hey, I screwed up. So we will drop this puppy on the floor. Uh, first things first, let's take care of the battery and over here somewhere is call it a brake servo but it's actually a brake cylinder I believe all right let's get these puppies repaired oh this is the only two pieces I can repair so I need to get a brake servo uh, brakes servo. gotcha and we'll go exchange this battery Yes, please recharge that for me to use it in the Supra. I'll get all the odd and end pieces taken care of here. Um, need a radiator. Let me step in here and get a radiator. I had trouble spilling this uh, Ray D8 Tor. Right? Yes. Need one of those. Um, I don't know if it, I believe it's a dual fan setup so totally guessing at this point oh um while i'm in here i need the clips for the air filter which are the clip bays for those then i want nice clean air filter all right come on there we go Everyone forgets these little clips. There's four of them in here, people. Four of them. Two in the front, two in the back. Uh, you forget these and the clips on the distributor cap. Poof. Got lucky on that. I thought maybe, maybe I screwed up on that. All right. So, uh, just for time and effort, I think I'm just going to build an engine. So I will take this over. I didn't take the transmission out, did I? No, sir, I didn't. No, sir, I didn't. Does it have a starter in it? Because I have to take the starter out from the top side anyway. All right, let's yank this transmission out. <clears throat> there you are. So at some point, uh, expert mode, I may try it. Um, right now, I'm kind of got myself locked into this, uh, this series. What type of an engine has an i4 dual overhead cam turbocharged? So, we need an i4 dual overhead cam turbocharged. That's the puppy we need. All right, so for time restraints, you know, I don't, I don't build these engines often, but uh, this might be a little interesting to try to get done. So let's uh, scrap some of the pieces we don't need here. Clear up my inventory. Um, the i4 gearbox, I'm gonna put a custom one in. That starter is shot. It's not gonna get fixed. So. 
here we dive into the engine and this is going to be fairly painful so please 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 bear with me uh, for a V8 like you uh, like you've seen on many many uh, videos I can pretty much do a V8 no problem uh, the i4s they all look the same to me okay we got uh, that's a Jeep one so that's not going to be it um, I think it's just the i4 block itself uh, if you come back over to the engine and you right click on there it'll tell you engine block i4 so we will pick up engine block i4 um, some things I do know we can get uh, a crank uh, just an i4 I believe uh, get the bearing caps I believe it still is three crankshaft pulley for the I-4. Uh, cap. We'll get the uh, rod caps. It's an I-4, right? So I only need four of them. Uh, rings. The typical rings for this. Not an I-5. It's an I-4. Thank you very much. Uh oil pan so we need an oil pan for the i4 uh, i4 and we're going to jump out of here we're going to jump over to the power section and pick up a few things uh, we will need a flywheel let's uh, do this clutch plate already got the flywheel uh, engine I am not entirely sure of the camshaft dual overhead cams. It means there's two of them, and I'm not sure which ones they are, so I will come back to that. Uh, try not to waste too much money on this stuff. Um, what was I looking for? Okay. Man, why do I think it's a... I'll go ahead and pick up the pistol, or yeah, spark plugs while I'm here. Why do I always select five of them? What the heck is my problem? I don't know. First, you're going absolutely crazy, dude. Crankshaft. So we have a regular alternator and an I-4 steering pump. So let's jump into the... Uh, we have an I-4 steering pump? Oh, yes. Yes, we do. We're going to get a little bit more boost out of this puppy. More power. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw these two pieces on there. Make it all pretty pretty. And then we shall flip this thing over and get to the back side here. Alright. You know, I could have gotten a oil filter too while I was in there. I have not tried the lists. I have. Uh, I hear about them. I hear they're pretty easy to use. Uh, I haven't tried them. But when you're doing a build like this, honestly, uh, I don't know if it'd be any help. Because this is more memory of what belongs in what engine. And I don't think a list is going to help you out any. I think a list would help if you were taking parts off the car and you can't repair them. Yada, yada, yada. Um, and then you can go into the workshop, uh, the uh, pay our parts list and get the parts you need. But something for like a, a build like this that you're building completely from the ground up almost. Uh, you have nothing but a shell here, so. It's kind of hard to use a list. Alright, this is coming together quite nicely. And easily, actually. Okay, so I need an oil filter and a throwout bearing. So I need an I-4 oil filter, which is the blue one, I believe. Jump over to the gearbox and pick up the clutch release bearing. Uh, I call it a throwout bearing. I think it's called, I think it's called a throwout bearing because it throws the clutch out, or it throws the clutch assembly out to change gears. 
That's what I've always, always called it. Alright, so up top. Uh, gotta pick up a fuel filter and an I-4 head. I believe both of these pieces are in the custom shop, in the uh, performance shop. Uh, go for the I-4 head first. If it's in here, yes. Yes, it is in here. Go ahead and pick up the fuel filter while I'm in here. I wish I knew the cams. I'll just line this up right here. Single overhead cam. Uh, a D, a B, an I-3. Uh, I can only hope that it's just a normal camshaft in here. Jeez. Yep, it's a normal camshaft, so guess what we get to do? We get to go back to shop it again. Alright, and we got a uh, fuel rail we can put in from the speed shop, so that's a plus. And it appears the exhaust for the turbo is also available, so we'll pick up two of the normal camshafts. Uh, the exhaust for the turbo. Pick that up. Uh, what else was I thinking? Ooh, that's so pretty. Nice and chromey. It's too bad we can't take the engine blocks into the paint shop. I would do that in a heartbeat. Ah! Forgot the fuel rail. It's all good. Alright, so we'll pick up a fuel rail, uh, typical cam gears, engine cover. So, need the fuel rail. Gotta jump back over into the normal parts. And we needed a cover, I-4 cover. There's I-4 cover right there. A couple of camshafts, or cam gears. A couple of those. And I'm going to suspect on a timing belt that has to be... Uh, you know, I don't know which one it would be. I thought I knew. Famous last words, right? Well, I thought I knew what I needed to get. Now with that on, I should have picked up the coil packs. Oh my goodness. Such a dork. Cam gear one, cam gear two, fuel rail. Uh, okay, so regular, typical timing belt, engine coils, and I4DI. Cool timing belt. Jump into the speed shop. Uh, need four of the coil packs. And intake I4DI. Uh, let's see, there. no, there's something else that goes in there. I believe it is a throttle. You know, well, wait a minute. I4B. Turbo, I'm going to need eventually, but uh, not right now. Might as well pick it up while I'm here, right? I-4 throttle. Um, I think that'll about do it for this engine. Not a whole lot to it, boys and girls. Man, it's pretty. I don't know if it looks good on a black car, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so I need timing cover. I-4 timing cover. I think I'm going to need a roller or two. See you in a minute. And a water pump. Okay, so I need I-4 water pump and a roller. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, just typical I-4 water pump. I-4 water pump. Roller. Uh, I think it was roller A. And... Um... The exhaust manifold cover I don't need right now because I can't get in, I can't install that until later. But I'll go ahead and pick that up while we're in here. Okay, yep, I'm gonna need Serpentine Belt B and Tensioner. Oh my need tensioner. Serpentine belt, just as plain old serpentine belt B. Oh, this didn't go too bad, did it? And I need serpentine belt A. Which should be right there. I believe that just about does it, except for that uh, exhaust cover. <coughs> Excuse me. But that has to go in last. So let's pull this off the engine stand. Put it into the car. Um, it is this one, because if I selected the other one, it doesn't know what the parts are. So it is this one. Let's move this puppy out of the way. And look at that beauty in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Surrounded by rust, but it is good to go. All right, now that we've got that up in the air, let's get ourselves a uh, transmission. And I'm going to put a uh, custom gearbox in it. So I believe it's the I 4. If we want to take it out and do some tuning to it, we will. Um, in these videos, I'm not really intending on doing anything as far as taking it out. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. <clears throat> All right, Brian O'Connor's Eclipse is just about ready to hit the streets. Got to do a little body work and some material work to it. But uh, other than that, it's coming together pretty good. that in there. The lights are so bright in here. I'm going to have to turn a few of them down, I think. Wow. Can't see what I'm doing. Alright, let's uh, put her to the ground and strip it. Front end will come off. What else can come off here? Doors can come off. Uh... Door, door, spoiler, trunk, rear bumper. Forgot to put the exhaust on it. And a few other minor things. Hey, I was able to fix all the body parts. Hey, that's a plus. Man. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good, people. Looking good. All right, look at it. It's, it's coming together. It's coming together. All right. <clears throat> all right, all right. So, why does that piece look off? All right. So what we need to do, we need to bring the, drag the welder over here. Let's finish this piece up. We are going to take the interior detailing kit. Take that over there too. And finish up the outside here real quick. Now, it doesn't look like much, but it does, it does uh, do something to the interior. So let's see what we need here. We need all glass. Headlights, uh, taillights. Alright, so 
because this is a mod, a lot of people are going, where are all the parts? Right down here, the Fresh Import Goods, Community Cars Body Shop. This is where you're going to find all of your modded shop car parts. All right. Uh, easy way to find them is just try to type part of the number, uh, part of the name in here, E C L I P S C. There we go. Okay, so this car has many, many options to it. And I believe the option that we have on there is Eclipse B. <clears throat> and with that, I believe that does go with. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and get the glass. Let's get the things we know first. Uh, glass, windshield, side windows. Uh, we're going to go with uh, uh, difference. It has a little bit of a thing on it. Do I want that? No. Take the regular one. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, darker taillights or brighter taillights? I'm going to go with the brighter taillight. Ah, you know, I don't remember what kind of exhaust he had on it, but uh, I'm going to go with that one there. Um, back. Go with that. Back glass. Uh, the regular headlight. Regular taillight. Rear trunk glass. Uh, rear trunk taillight. No idea what it is. Now, I know these might be wrong. I'm not sure which ones I need to put on there. Uh, we'll go with the Bs. I could be totally wrong. I would have to. I think it kind of matches up with what it is on there already. Yeah, I think, I think we're good with the Bs. All right. This is what I'm looking at is this right down here this styling as compared to this styling back here looks like it's a pretty good match and I forgot to take that body part out so we'll take that out and put a fresh one in fresh side mirror trunk window and that's why it looks that look kind of looks a little goofy in there huh I wonder why and put our Ah, it does come with a dual. Oh, it comes with a dual. Oh, I was so wrong on that. All right, so let's, uh, I was so wrong. We'll get the dual. We'll get the big dual. Yeah. Oh, that's not the wrong. Oh, Ed. All right. We got the right one in there now. Uh, glass, deck, spoiler, I've got to take that glass out, we'll replace that up, uh, headlights, it just says left headlight, so, I guess we're good with that, um, let's, uh, uh, what do I need to do, oh, 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 oh. Let's get these pieces in. Ah, uh, starter. Ah, I don't have a starter for this silly thing? Alright, so I've got to get the exhaust system underneath here. Let's jump in here to the uh, power boost shops, because I believe there is one in here for this. Uh, uh, turbo. That's the one we need. I'm not entirely sure of the rest of the exhaust system, but we'll find out here in a minute. <clears throat> exhaust section. Got that in. I need a middle and a rear. Okay. Easy peasy. So we need... Uh, bah, 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 bah. There it is. Rear. And we need a middle. Am I not seeing it here? Or is it up here? No? Okay, I'm losing my freaking mind here. Okay, now... It's not that one. 
There it is. Oh my gosh. Looked right over. If it was a snake, it would bite me, as my dad would say. Slap the exhaust system on. We are golden there. Need a starter for it, but I don't know which starter. Uh, what starter? I'm going to go ahead and put the turbocharger. What? Turbocharger. I bought one for it and just a regular starter. Didn't I have a. Didn't I buy a turbo. Turbocharger? Oh, I bought the I4B. I am such a dork. Alright, pick up a starter. Sturter. That's interesting. <laughs> I know how to spell. Okay. So I got myself a sturter. Slap that puppy in. The turbo. Bolt that all in nice and pretty. Put my exhaust engine cover on. Oh yeah, pretty pretty. Shut you down. Alright, uh... Interior. Gotta move the car over to the back wall over here so I can set up an interior. See, the exhaust does cut, cut through a little bit. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can find in the interior shop. And a custom seats. Uh, with it the way it is, I'm going to go with the racing leathers. I get a couple of those. And steering wheel, I'm not even sure what it looked like in the car, but uh, that looks like a pretty good option right there. These aren't the seats that came out of it, but these are the seats I'm putting into it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, one important thing to note, need some oil. nice and full let's check the stats everything's 100% except for the body which is 95 uh, and let's see I believe they were in California right so we'll get up we'll make up some plates for this uh, we'll go for some California plates only need one and I'm gonna go O'Connor Ready. All right, let's take this puppy over to the paint shop. Put the final final touches on this. Now, don't freak out. You see that everything's decaled up. When I go to paint it, everything's gone. But we want to paint everything the same color. Um, going to the libra libraries, Fast and Furious. Yes. Paint these back to the garage. One final step. I'd like to see what she makes on the dyno. And you know, I didn't even know the side door was there for the longest time. I always went through the big doors. Ah. Learn something new all the time. Yes, please proceed with the dyno. Let's see what this puppy throws down. increase in horsepower 55 56 percent increase in torque <clears throat> not too bad all right there you have it ladies and gentlemen Brian O'Connor's fast and furious Eclipse let's move it back here so you can get a better look at it <clears throat> oh yes sir that looks pretty sweet. One of the nicer, you know, I'm not a, a, a tuner car kind of guy, but the cars that are in this movie, I, I really enjoy. I enjoy watching. Uh, I enjoy seeing. 
and I'm enjoying building these things. I think that looks pretty good on the inside there. Uh, looks satisfactory. I don't have the whole computer setup that he had in his, but uh, yeah, looks nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Tune back more. Tune back later, I should say. To uh, enjoy some more episodes. I will leave the Eclipse in the bay over there. Uh, until I finish up the other two. So that all three cars are built. Sitting in the bays. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit us up over at Facebook. If you enjoyed the video and you like seeing more of these builds. Uh, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to me so you can get even uh, and hit the notification button so you get notified when I do post them uh, I do have a channel over on twitch and over on Twitter um, don't really use it all that much but uh, I'm there uh, seek me out you can find me first quasar all right thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed it have a great night keep your customizing cars going and this is Hearst Quasar. I am out. <laughs>